Self-checkouts were supposed to make shopping easier, but as Amber Cagliano reports, they're also causing chaos. Key in. Please wait for assistance. The scanners at self-checkout lines are meant to make shopping an easy, breezy experience. 69 cents. But they can also be a major headache, says shopping expert Phil Lempert. It is so easy to make a mistake on these machines. People have a full shopping cart, they're putting it in, they forget to scan something, or the machine just doesn't work. And if you make a mistake unintentionally, hey, you could be arrested. Sounds hard to believe? Consider what happened to Paige Warren. I didn't steal. She says she was on her way out of a Walmart in Texas with a shopping cart filled with items when an employee told her that a $6 bag of Reese's Pieces didn't scan. I apologized immediately and said, I'm, I'm so sorry. You know, I, I scanned it. I thought it scanned. And I was trying to take out my debit card to go over there and pay. And he was like, you can't do that. You have to come with me. She was taken to a back room and questioned by an officer. I don't understand why I can't just walk back and pay for my bag of Reese's and go outside with my children. I'm starting to panic because I'm just in this room with them and they're not listening to me. I'm just like almost in tears. I'm, I'm ready to cry. They let her go without pressing charges, but she's now banned from that location. I do not use self-checkout. I do not want to be accused of something like that again. She's not the only shopper we spoke to who says they were falsely accused of shoplifting and even detained after using a self-checkout machine. I didn't want to go to jail. I was I was just trying to do everything that he told me to do. Marquana Tippins says when she was having trouble scanning items at a Cleveland Walmart, this employee came over to lend a hand. But after paying, she says this security guard accused her of stealing. I'm just checking her seat. He let her go, but Marquana says she was so offended she returned everything. I was being accused of something I didn't do and I just felt like that was a slap in the face. So I returned everything and they offered me a gift card. But that wasn't the end of it. Two weeks later, I had a warrant out for my arrest and I went to jail. Merquana spent six hours in jail, but all charges were dismissed when this security footage proved her innocence. Her attorney, Steve Albenzi, says it can happen to anyone. That's scary for any person to think that they can literally be going about their day grocery shopping for their children, and that leads to incarceration. What tips do you have for people using self-checkout? Number one is slow down. Don't try to rush through. Look at the bottom of the card. If you put anything on the bottom, make sure you're scanning that as well. If you've got one item, sure, use the self-checkout. But if you've got 15 items, head to the cashier. The customer who was arrested is suing Walmart and the security guard for false imprisonment. They both deny any wrongdoing.